Next thing we're going to look at is Crossroads. This is also a 12 bar blues song. It's in the key of A. And Crossroads, um, especially what Clapton, when he was with Cream, uh, did with the song, made it very riff based. <laughs> Robert Johnson, different than Eric Clapton, different than a lot of people. So the riff is uh, written out in tablature. So you're, you hit your open string, hammer on that last one. Pull off, pull off, the last note becomes the first note, it just keeps looping around. Then when it goes to the D, it's a D7. I always use that riff. Up to an E7. To D7. Riff. E7 sharp 9. Now, I'll play just a little bit of it for you. I'm singing. I went down to the crossroads. I'm just playing a A note on my fourth string at the seventh fret, coupled by playing my A string open. If you'll notice, my thumb is muting out the string, so I have the freedom. just as much as it is what you let ring. Because if the wrong thing is not kept quiet, it can um, definitely overshadow what the right thing is. So, as I'm playing, especially when I'm plugged in with an electric guitar, loud volume, a lot of distortion, I have to keep control of what this instrument can put out at a loud volume. Uh, one of the biggest challenges is to keep quiet what needs to be quiet, so what needs to ring through can. So, like when I make this chord, my first finger just naturally falls to make the chord where it's touching my sixth string and just muting it out. So I don't have to tiptoe around not hitting it. A lot of times new players really get in trouble they're executing things properly, 
but they're not covering themselves in a way that's uh, effective. And so these bad notes ring out that they didn't mean to play. They weren't really playing them, they just got in the way. So with my right hand, I'll keep things muted so strings that aren't supposed to ring don't just kind of take off uh, from just the vibration or the actual hitting of the string. I also keep things covered here by how I lay my, my hand down. And where I place my focus. Right now I'm, I'm pushing down these strings, but this string here, my first finger is only pushing down the note on my fifth string, fifth fret. That's muted. That's pushed down with my pinky. That's muted. That's pushed down with my third string. I'm sorry, my third finger. That's pushed down with my first finger. And this is muted by how my first finger is pushed up against me. one fret and slide into it. See when I did that? Everything's muted here. difficult to try and do all of those things I just pointed out. If you just try and learn to play the song properly and then try and control things from jumping out, you'll start getting your version of how you're going to keep things quiet. No two people walk across this. If I walked across this room and you walked across this room, there's no way that our feet would land exactly in the same place. They don't have to. It's the direction in which you're flowing. Uh, you take this, make it your own. There's, I'm not good at copying other artists. I'm not good at playing like other guitar players. That can be a blessing and a curse depending on the uh, circumstances. For me, it's uh, helped me to carve out my own style. So, uh, I do not play Crossroads like anyone else. I play it like me, but I own it and I've made it my own. That's really all that's important. So hopefully some of these things can give you some ideas on how you can take from me what it is that I've just delivered. I encourage you to listen to Clapton, listen to Robert Johnson, listen to any version of the song that you can find. Steal from it, from every one of us. Little things that you can pull in and make it your own. Okay? And it's, and it's really a good idea for really all of these songs, pull out an acoustic guitar if you have one. Just play it on the acoustic. Electric is wonderful. Um, if you can really get a good sound out of an acoustic, it's going to build some hand strength, especially if um, you're really looking to learn how to play. Building hand strength, uh, pulling sounds out of a guitar, not having the crutch of an electric guitar and amp and all the effects. Just pick up a guitar and play it. It's really going to be um, big help than always plugging in. Also, uh, if all you have is an electric guitar, don't plug it in. Just play periodically listening to the vibration of the guitar itself because ultimately that's what these pickups are amplifying. So that's another thing to consider. Okay, now uh, Crossroads is in the key of A, so whenever you do play a lead, you have a first position or what is a root six minor pentatonic? Expanded. And if you'll notice, these are all notes found in your minor pentatonic. You also have an A root five up here, an expanded. Okay, so, and then you have an octave higher. So, you know, these are things to experiment with. Uh, have fun.